So, you want to make them gaming subtitles, like the big YouTubers, but for free in a resolve? Okay, I got you. Let's get into it. First, click on FX library and type in text plus. Drag it onto your timeline above your footage. Choose your font. I will leave some sites with free fonts down in the description. Then head over to shading and select element 2. Change the color to black and increase the thickness. You can go above 0.1 by typing in the value, but I don't recommend it. Then go to element 3 and enable shadow. This will make the subtitles stand out even more. Now we'll add a nice little pop-in animation so that the text doesn't just appear out of nowhere. Click on layout and go to the beginning of your clip. There make a size keyframe and move several frames forward. I will move by 4. Set the size to 1.2 and move forward by half of the amount you've moved before. So I will move by 2 frames and set the size to 1.15. You can play around with this to make it longer, shorter, whatever you want. Now all you have to do is to get your subtitles centered by holding shift and dragging, then press alt, click on your clip, drag, like this you can sub the whole video. By the way, you can put the subtitles into Power Bin, this will let you use them in other projects. Next, let's do subtitle tracking. For that, go to settings over here and add a position keyframe at the beginning of the action you want to track. Now, choose a spot that will be visible most of the time, move the text to that position, go forward by one frame and repeat this process. I recommend using the anchor point to create a dot that you will use to track the action or you can use a dot on the frame. It doesn't really matter what spot you choose because you can always adjust the position with the anchor point as long as your zoom value is not 1. But maybe this is not enough for you. You want the subtitles to be 3 dimensional. If that's the case, you can use either these wheels and layout, it's the same thing as with normal tracking. You adjust the subtitles, make a keyframe and move by one frame. Or you can drag transform effect on subtitles, change the mode to canvas mode and turn on open FX overlay. Adjust the subtitles by dragging the corners, make a keyframe over here, you know the drill. Also, if you want to have the subtitles appearing word by word, you can keyframe the text as well. You simply type in something, move forward and add some more. Or you can type in a whole sentence, make a keyframe and remove it word by word. There is one more trick I would like to show you. You can apply camera shake to emphasize certain emotions. Someone shouting or someone thinking and so on. For shouting, I found the combination of low amplitudes and a high rate of PTR speed to work the best. You might want to apply some motion blur as well, it depends. And that's it. This is a pretty solid set of techniques for working with subtitles. You can also try to draw inspiration from other more experienced YouTubers and try to recreate their subtitle effects. I hope this helps and I will see you in the next one. Good night, have fun.